Healthcare's Rebecca Stewart connecting you to healthier. And here's a look at all the different things that are happening across Hartford Healthcare and all of our campuses. Starting at Hartford Hospital, Senator Blumenthal was there for Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, calling attention to the ongoing drug shortages affecting patients here and all across the country. He spoke with a prostate cancer survivor who talked about how difficult it is to be placed on a waiting list for life-saving drugs. After receiving 12 treatments over two six-week terms, the BCG has done its job, and I'm smiling about that. Lifestar made its official arrival at its third home base at Mid-State Medical Center. For 30 years, people all throughout New England have relied on Lifestar and its stellar flight crew to swiftly and safely connect them with critical care. Bringing Lifestar to Mid-State means that the life-saving helicopter will be stationed closer to accident areas and highways. To deploy this helicopter in this region and get people who need care as quickly as possible. And serving our community is at the heart of why Hartford Healthcare exists, why Mid-State Medical Center is here in Meriden, and all the great work that we do across the state of Connecticut. Hartford Healthcare at Home is partnering with several agencies to get flu vaccines into the community. This fall, there will be lots of different flu clinics. To make an appointment, you can find a link at Connect to Healthier. Several providers came together to help Isla Dominica. It is a tiny island that was hit by a devastating hurricane. The island is also home to Hartford Hospital's Associate Director of Trauma, DeAndrea Joseph. In just days, the whole team gathered enough supplies to get to the consulate and ship to those in need. We are getting a lot of help and uh, this is huge. This, this is just, I, thanks will never be enough. Jefferson House was recognized with the 2014-2015 Excellence in Action Award. Only three skilled nursing facilities throughout all of Connecticut achieved this distinction. Also, primary care offices at Hartford HealthCare have been transitioning to a brand new medical record system. This will help improve the patient experience. Patients will be able to see their records better, and providers will be better able to communicate with one another. The new system, Epic or CareConnect, will be rolling across all entities soon. The Hartford Marathon always keeps our entities busy. In fact, this year, Hartford Healthcare Rehabilitation Network is already gearing up to stretch out, folks. Last year, we stretched out nearly 300 racers. More than 40 staff members will be at the Bushnell Park starting early in the morning, all through the end of the day, warming up and stretching out after the race. In the world of behavioral health care, several of our team members took the shatterproof challenge in Hartford, rappelling down a 22-story building, the Hilton Hotel. Why? To raise awareness and support the organization Shatterproof's fight against addiction. And Jesse Close, award-winning actress Glenn Close's sister, spoke out locally about her struggle with mental illness and the importance of eradicating stigma. To learn more about any of these topics or connect with any of our physicians, head to connecttohealthier.org. You can also call 855-HHC-HERE. That is 855-442-4373. I'm Rebecca Stewart with Hartford HealthCare, connecting you to healthier.